It's Randy Orton. Oh. Oh. I have voices in my head. They count to me. They understand. They talk. Hey guys, what's up? Murphy's Opinions here, and today I'm coming at you with my predictions for No Mercy this Sunday uh, on the WWE Network. And um, so yeah, as I said, uh, it's going to be my predictions for this Sunday's card, uh, who I think is going to win, what I think is going to happen, um, all that good stuff. Um, so what do I think kind of the build to this show? I just, for me personally, I just think the brand split, there's just not enough time to kind of get enough build to a lot of these matches. Um, I feel like there's just not been enough build. From you know, especially the main matches, I just feel like there maybe could have been some more have gone into it, and it's just it's it's just there's not enough breathing room between the Raw and SmackDown pay per views. Like it just, I mean, it just feels like you know, you know, a couple of weeks ago we had the Raw pay per view. Oh wait, we did, you know, that sort of thing. Um, but anyway, uh, let's just get into my predictions of the card for this Sunday. So the first match we'll look at is Nikki Bella versus Carmella. Uh, now, obviously, they've been built. This is actually one of the two uh, women's feuds um, on the SmackDown brand. And, you know, it's just been that kind of standard uh, kind of women's feud, obviously, because it's not for the title. So they've had to kind of have some sort of story, um, which is basically, you know, Carmella. I, I think the story is that she kind of is wanting to make a name for herself on the SmackDown brand, going after a big name like Nikki Bella. If it's not, well, I think that's what kind of what it's, the story should be. Um, and obviously, I think Carmella as a heel is better by far, but um, I, I still believe that she should not be on the SmackDown brand. She's just not ready, and you know, God knows NXT could do with some more women who are somewhat established, really. But anyway, um, as for who I think is going over in this match, um, I will probably go for Nikki Bella. You know, she's just come back. She hasn't necessarily had you know a big win yet. Uh, well, actually, no, SummerSlam she did win the the six women tag per team, but I mean as a face, um, they clearly want to get her to have a big win, uh, a big pay-per-view, which is obviously no mercy, so I think she will beat Carmella here, um, so I'm going to go with Nikki Bella to win that. Next, Kurt Hawkins uh, will be making his debut, or return, I should say, because technically, obviously he's wrestled before in WWE as Kurt Hawkins, so I guess it's more of a return than a debut, um, but anyway, um, when I looked on Wikipedia, it said it was Kane, and then I've, I'm looking at it now, and it says TBA, so uh, I, I obviously don't know who the opponent is, um, so I'm going to go for Kurt Hawkins to win, obviously it's his return back, they're going to give him some sort of momentum, unless they're putting him up against someone who's making their debut on the main roster, um, but I don't think they will do that, um, and I, I really don't see that, so they'll probably just put Kurt Hawkins up against probably just a no-name, or... You know, maybe someone, you know, like, maybe someone from the Ford Villains or someone like that, you know. Someone who they can just put against uh, Kurt Hawkins and put him over. Maybe Zack Ryder will want to put him over, I don't know. Because I know they're quite good friends. Anyway, um, so yeah, my prediction for that match is Kurt Hawkins to win on his first match back. Heath Slater and Rhino will defend their tag team titles against the Usos. Um, and... You know, I, I'm really liking heel, the heel Usos. I think, you know, it's really a, a good breath of fresh air. You know, it's definitely spice things up. And but it's actually been good because, you know, sometimes when people change things up, it just doesn't really work. The Usos as heels, I do think, genuinely work. Um, and people actually want to boo them. So it, it's one of those things where the heel turn was just much needed. He's later and Rhino are that, you know... I, I, I do like He's later and Rhino. I think they're that kind of odd couple in a sense. Um, so, you know, I, I, I think, you know, it's, it's a match that I think could be pretty good, because their match at, um, at Backlash last month, when they faced off, was pretty, pretty good match, actually, it was a fun match, and I think they'll probably have another pretty good one again, um, you know, obviously Heath Sater and Rhino are the champions going in, and I, I do genuinely think they'll drop the belts to the Usos here, um, I think the Slater win was mainly more just to get him a contract, um, but who knows, maybe they'll get the flute win, but if I was to, my prediction for this will probably be the Usos, they've just got that fresh heel gimmick, they're going to probably want them to hold the belts for a bit, and they'll, at some point down the line, drop it to a team like American Alpha, who will get a bit of a run, maybe around WrestleMania time or something like that, so my prediction for this is the Usos. Randy Orton takes on Bray Wyatt as well, and 
to be honest with you, I think this feud has been very, very underwhelming, you know. And it's not even just because their match at Backlash didn't even happen. Um, it was just more, it's just more the fact that, um, you know, the promos and just the hype going into it has been just very poor. I, I think, you know, these are two good promo guys. We've seen these guys cut great promos before, but this the whole angle they're going for here, I, I'm just not really a fan of. And I think Bray Wyatt has been made to look been made to look so weak in this feud like i didn't mind him losing to kane because it did continue the feud with randy Orton with the feud with orton so i thought you know what that's fine but you know even going into this match you know why it's just had no real sort of momentum in my opinion he's been made to look like a bit of a, a bit of a chump going in really and randy orton's obviously been heavily protected you know going into this um but i, I think this will, might actually be the end of the feud because i think orton may end up going to feud with Styles over the belt at maybe either Survivor Series or the next pay-per-view, SmackDown pay-per-view. I can't remember. Is it TLC or Roadblock? Well, that's one of, the, one of the SmackDown ones. I can't remember. But, um, yeah, my prediction for this match uh, is probably just Randy Orton. I think they're, as I said, building him up for a future big match with, I think, probably AJ Styles, maybe Dean Ambrose if he turns heel. But, um, yeah, my prediction for this is Randy Orton to win this one. Becky Lynch is defending the SmackDown Women's Championship against Alexa Bliss. Um, and, you know, I think the builders have been pretty solid. I mean, um, I like that they gave Alexa Bliss the number one contendership because I think she's a, a, actually a very underrated talent. She's a solid worker. She's got her kind of character and gimmick down, I think, very well, you know. Um, and because I, I think it was genuinely quite surprising that she got the number one contendership. Um... But I, I generally think this could be a very good match. You know, Becky, as I said, great worker. Alexa Bliss is very solid as well. Um, so the dynamics of this have been quite interesting. You know, just kind of Alexa trying to get um, the upper hand um, in this feud. And she has for the most part, really. Um, but I, I think, personally, it's way, way too early to drop the belt. Uh, well, for Becky to drop the belt to Alexa. You know, she's just had it. I think she's going to have a fairly long run with the belt. Uh, at some point, I think she will drop it to someone like Nikki Bella, perhaps, but I think it's too early to drop it to someone, because I think Alexa Bliss will probably hold the women's belt in the future, but I think now it's just too early. So because of that, um, I definitely think uh, Becky Lynch will retain the women's belt here. The Miz defends his Intercontinental Championship in a title versus career match against Dolph Ziggler. And you know what? I think this has definitely been one of the best SmackDown feuds since the brand split. Definitely up there with, you know, the Heath Slater free agent storyline and um, AJ Ambrose and Cena and that sort of thing. I think this has been definitely up there. Um, and I think the title versus career stipulation has some genuine interest. Um, so I think a lot of people don't necessarily know what's going to happen here because from when Dolph Ziggler signed a contract saying, you know, signing a new contract for a few years. So it doesn't seem like he would go anywhere. However, you know, there are reports, I think Ric Flair saying that he thinks Ziggler's going to leave. Um, I'm kind of um dinar about this uh, this matchup because I think, you know, at one point I can see Ziggler leaving. You know, he hasn't had his career in WWE. He's definitely been not the strongest. Like, it's not been terrible, but you feel like he's been held back at times. Um, and The Miz has been so great as Intercontinental Champion. You don't really want to see him drop the belt because you know the belt is have a lot of... So Steve behind it with him holding it, but at the same time, you don't really want to see Ziggler leave, you know, such a good talent. Um, but I'm going to go with Dolph Ziggler to win the Intercontinental title. I don't think he's going to leave, and they're playing off the fact that Ziggler's had a, you know, a, a underwhelming career um, with that package on SmackDown they played this week, um, basically implying he's a chump. So I'm going to say Ziggler will... Now see, I could see Ziggler winning the match, but not winning the belt. Um, which, but I think that'd be very, very stupid. But I'm gonna go out and say Ziggler wins the Intercontinental title. And finally, onto the main event: a triple threat match for the WWE World Title. AJ Styles defending against Dean Ambrose and John Cena. I think the build to this has been very, very solid. Um, you know, uh, you know the promos back and forth between all three guys. I think have been very good. And also, one thing I think this feud has actually, it's made me want to see a feud between potentially Ambrose and Cena because I think these two have had to cut some great promos on each other especially um, I like that Dean Ambrose is showing you know a slight heel side to him which I think is pretty cool 
Um, so I, I do think down the line Ambrose could be an awesome, awesome heel. Um, and Cena, you know, Cena here I think has actually been very enjoyable. You know, he's 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 been someone for the past ten years. He's been very, very just annoying. But the fact that they're playing his character up to be, you know, not indestructible anymore, it makes him more relatable. It makes him more likable, which I think is why he's getting over now with people because people are starting to respect him. And, you know, the character's not being forced down the throat as him being unstoppable. You know, he's lost um, clean a few times this year, such as, you know, to Escher AJ at SummerSlam. Down, Ambrose rolled him up clean on SmackDown. So, yeah, I think, you know, people are starting to get behind Cena because of his kind of, he's not indestructible anymore. Or he's being, you know, portrayed that way. AJ's champ has just been awesome. You know, him cutting all the promo, cutting promos and just being a dick to people. I just, I'm enjoying it. Um, and Ambrose has said... Cutting some great promos on Cena as well. Um, as for who I think is going to go over in this matchup, um, as AJ just got the belt from Dean at Backlash, so I really don't see him dropping it here. Um, I think if Cena it does win the world title, which he probably will, it won't be at No Mercy. It'll be at a big event like WrestleMania. Um, I, I think it'd be a bit pointless to give Ambrose the belt back. So my prediction for the main event uh, is going to be an AJ Styles win. So thank you guys for watching my predictions. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like the video, comment below, uh, subscribe, follow me on Twitter and ask.fm. And once again, thanks for watching, guys.